Hi everyone, so as promised, um, I did say I would come back and do a video of the top hat when it's all been put together and decorated. So, there's a few imperfections, but I will point them out as I go. As you all know, I have only been crafting since December, and it's all about learning, so I thought, as much as I felt like, mm, do I really want to do a video to show you all, I thought, you know what? I'm just going to do a video and show you, because um, I did say I would do one. Right, so the other night I started to do it and the idea was I was just going to make up the top hat and decorate, because I still wasn't quite sure how I would decorate things. Um, so it's Thursday today, it was Tuesday night, half ten. This took me just over two hours, would you believe? <laughs> um, so I put it all together, the top hat. And then um, I thought, oh no, I should have, because I wanted to use tissue paper. Josephine had covered hers with tissue paper and I thought, oh, that's a good idea, I'll do it as well. Um, and then I thought, oh, it may have been easier to cut around the tissue paper and size it all up and make, you know, glue it on and then make, make this up then. But obviously it was too late by then because I'd already made the top hat. So I cut it into bits which I think in a way I prefer because if I'd covered it all with this tissue paper and it's got a lot, as you can see, it has got a lot going on I wouldn't really have wanted to cover it so we're just using strips see how I've covered things in between more on the brown stripe so I use this pretty it's got flowers and butterflies uh, tissue paper that I got from Home Bargains the other week. I added these stickers. I actually got it like a couple of years ago or so from some friend mail, so I used these. And I used some champagne gems because I thought they would go really nice with the brown. And I just put ribbon at the bottom. Um, Josephine did tell me, obviously, with using glue to put water with it, so I'm not sure what I did wrong. I'm not sure if I didn't put enough water with it or I didn't stir it as well. But as you can see here, some's dried and it's gone, you know, how it would normally look. And some looks like it's still wet, but it isn't. So, like I said, there is a few imperfections. But, you know, when you're learning, and even I think people that have been crafting for a while, when you do something you've never done before, um, it's all about, you know, you're going to make mistakes and it's just remembering for next time how to go about it a different way. Um, I put the rhinestones at the bottom in a pattern, as you can see. I mean, it came out okay. I never had an idea for it. And when Josephine said, oh, I'll send you, you know, the top hat, I was still stuck for an idea. So I'm glad that I... Um, no, I'm glad it's done anyway, and uh, it was certainly a challenge. <laughs> but I did, you know, I did have a lot of fun doing it. It's just like I said, it just irritated me how it's not dried in a lot of places. But yeah, I still wanted to come on and still wanted to show you anyway because I gave it a go. So that's it. Ooh, nearly went then. <laughs> Dropped down it. Um, so yeah, that's my top hat. So thank you Josephine for sending me the template. Um, I did have fun making it and um, yeah, I certainly learnt a few, <laughs> a few things along the way. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.